everyone. Welcome to episode 12 of the Heritage Arts Podcast. We're Tim and Kayla, owners of Heritage Arts Co. located in Minnesota, and this is a podcast all about arts and handcrafts. Today we're going to be talking about knitting and cross-stitch. Welcome yeah. back to pre-recorded podcast. Yeah, this is <laughs> the first uh, pre-recorded podcast we have done in probably a month. I we think had, it's been longer than a month. Maybe longer. Yeah. We had been doing live podcasts, so thank you for any of you that have joined us during our live podcast okay. on Sunday mornings. Um, but we are, I think, really excited to get back to a recorded format. Um, I know I felt a little chaotic yeah. <laughs> during yeah. the lives. Part of that was because we um, were kind of, we had our son, you know, awake during that time and we were kind of trying to tag team taking care of him and I will say it's it was nice not having to edit every yeah week. <laughs> <But> <laughs> that's true and you know more about that than I do but we will you will be editing on our new computer yeah so, so that be, should speed up the process maybe hopefully. not this first time but <laughs> yeah maybe this first time <laughs> it'll learn be the a new little computer. slow yeah but um but the computer itself will be much yeah. faster than the dinosaur that we had mm -hmm. before Apple called it a do they call it vintage? I think so. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, I think they called it, that's our uh, vintage model. I mean, it was like 2013, but still. So, um, yeah, so we, uh, we've we been doing the live ones, but like we said, excited to get back to a little bit more organized format. So um, I think starting out, do we want to just talk about, uh, well, FOs. You yeah, let's do our FOs. Yeah, you do don't I have, have any? any? I don't think yeah. you have any. Like normal, no <laughs> FOs. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you're working on a pretty big project. Getting closer, you'll see yeah. shortly. <laughs> if you've watched, you know what project this is. Yeah. If you haven't, you'll find out. So for you, um, FO, I actually, here, yeah. I'll, I'll grab it for you. <laughs> well, I don't really have an actual FO that I have knitted that I've cast off and is completed that way. But I did undertake the project of winding... Um, some self-striping sock yarn into a gobstopper ball, <laughs> as they're called. So it's very, this, very pretty. Yeah, it is really cool. So this is um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar yarn from um, uh, Night Owl Fibers. And I showed it last week in the skein. And then um, I think it was the day after I recorded, or maybe it was just later that day. No, I don't. Yeah, I think it was just later that day. I decided... I ignore my not paying attention right now. <laughs> Just, you know, getting getting our camera on our yeah, little boy right the now as baby he's sleeping. Monitor set up. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're back to recording at nighttime after Noah has gone to sleep. Um, so, but yeah, so I um, I wound it into this kind of what people call a gobstopper ball where you do each stripe section as like a turn as you're as you're winding it. So, um Again, it's it's the Very Hungry Caterpillar colorway named after the book by Eric Carle. And um, Rachel just did a really beautiful job with this. There's so many neat stripes in it. Um, all very representative, I feel, of the book. I even was like looking at it next to the book <laughs> and was like, oh, that's the apple and that's the strawberries. <laughs> um, so really fun. Um, this was what Tim gave me for Christmas. And, um, one of the things, that yeah, you what, well, yeah, one of the things that you gave me for Christmas. Um, and so that was, oh, <laughs> dropping it. Um, so it was really fun. Um, I shared last week, I showed the pattern that I'm going to be knitting up with this eventually. Um, the vanilla bean sock, which is kind of a slip stitch. Um, you kind of do slip stitches, uh, where the stripes change color. So it just gives a neat little effect, but, um, I'll go into this more later. I won't be starting this for a little while as I have a pretty big project coming up for the next month, mm -hmm. but I did get this wound up, which Tim can attest to the fact that it took a, it took a while. Long time. It was, yeah, I, <laughs> you kind of forget when you just use a winder and, um, and a swift most of the time, how long it can take to hand wind and especially when you're being mindful to change at every color so it was it was a project oh my goodness it was a project Here. let's set it down yeah. <laughs> but it's finished um so it's making it all the more enticing to cast on but i really i really can't quite yet but i'm excited to do that eventually so your we're i guess we're on to whips no yeah. So yep. we're on to whips. Yeah, so your whip. That so I am whip. still working on my Christmas stocking. 
uh, by Stony Creek Christmas in the Christmas in the Woods. Yeah, I you would think I would know the name by now. I mention it every single <laughs> every <week>. time. <laughs> so Christmas in the Woods by Stony Creek, and this will be done for this Christmas. I've been saying this that it'll Christmas. be done for this Christmas. <laughs> it'll be done for this Christmas. That is twelve months away. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So I'm gonna hold that. I have made some huge progress. Yeah. <laughs> so if you wanna oh, hold sure. up, am I holding it right? A little over to the left. There you go. So you can see that branch that I just did. I did that. This entire. You can put that. Okay. <laughs> I did this entire branch system this week. Yeah. Um. That was a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of fun, just all one color, but I, I mean, you can maybe see in the light. There's some snow intermixed mm -hmm. here and there, so, so I started I started doing the snow as well. Yeah, which how great has your out light, your new out light been? For yeah, so <laughs> I'm hoping that by the time this yeah. podcast airs, that I'll have my Instagram post done. Yeah, with, with my new out light. New out light. So showing it off. That is great. If anyone's lucky enough to have one of those, <laughs> which I now am, yes, uh, thanks for white <laughs> on white, it is a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Having that magnifying, not having to hold it. I mean, in a previous yeah. podcast, you you can see I <laughs> yeah, you had your little like <laughs> I had my other hot light chest look, mounted like yeah, neck. I look um, really <laughs> cool. Um, this is it's so great having that light so bright. I can. Yeah. Barely see. I don't need my glasses on either while I do mm -hmm. it. That so that's nice. Um, started the white, the snow that kind of goes all between the branches. Mm -hmm. Then I have a bird here and a bird here. I love when you can see just yeah. The you can little... <laughs> you can definitely see where the bird is. Yeah. But you can see I got uh, those two birds left, and then that little raccoon with the bow on the bottom. Yeah. I have that, and um, I'll roll it back name. out my name i'll put on top so my mom had she we were just texting and she had said that you could still potentially look at doing a fold a folded over cuff mm. um like mine is that you could consider doing that still even though you i mean we have, have done the yeah top you've done the top border so but I probably won't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but she said that you can do that after the fact if you wanted to consider it, but... I have enjoyed working on this so much. I, mm -hmm. I, I might put it down for a week, and when I'm picking it back up, I'm, I kind of get, oh, I got to start working like on this Like, it's again. daunting. And then I do, too. like, two stitches. I'm <laughs> like, oh, this is, this is yeah. so great. Um, that all being said... I am really excited to, <laughs> to get be done, with it. done with this. Yeah, I have a bunch of other projects mm -hmm. in my queue, and well, the, I'm so excited to start working on them. Yeah, I, I there I will be a little bummed being done with this, but I got well. You have the I other have parts the other, of it. Yeah, the which other is, two things on yeah. here. So and to be able to do like maybe the smaller one next, you know, if you yeah. want to just like dip yeah. into this again, like returning. Yeah, it's like rereading I, a book. <laughs> I was thinking I wanted to do this big one next year, or I guess in 2021. Yeah, so this year. But I think I'm going to do this little one because I'm going to be making a stocking for, for Noah. Noah. Yeah. Um, we saw which I haven't looked at all for uh, a, pattern. a pattern My yet. mom did send me one that she had seen. Oh. So, sorry, I didn't show that yeah. to you. <laughs> So maybe we already maybe we already have one. Possibly, I don't know. it's it's pretty cute. So I that's could bring it up. That's my whip right now. Uh, I will. I guess I'll say my goal for the rest of this holiday weekend is to finish the snow that's mm -hmm. in the branches here, and who knows? Maybe by next week I can get one or two of the birds Little, done. Yeah. The birds are really tough. They each Lots bird is like. 15 colors so it's a lot of starting in, and stopping yeah in like what a square inch <laughs> like yeah. 15 colors in one square yeah. inch so it's Jeez. it's i mean they do a yeah, fantastic it looks, job it, obviously yeah, with yeah. how how great it looks but yeah it it, it becomes <laughs> painstaking so that's my goal 
hopefully by next podcast mm -hmm. you'll see some of those birds done and maybe even starting on that raccoon yeah yeah well, that's, that yeah that's only, your own it's that's i mean it's only whip that i've worked on yeah. in the last week yeah yeah you're definitely a little bit more of a um Min you're not a one project stitcher no. but almost yeah at least when you have such a big big yeah. one to go through okay so yeah my whips i guess next um i still have one whip that is technically a christmas present <laughs> um but we have not seen these people for christmas yet so um so that's okay. I don't need to have it done quite yet. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting I am close. very, very close. I'm very close. And honestly, if I you're had... You're a lot closer than I thought. Oh, yeah. You were, well, you were asleep for... <laughs> like, you were asleep in front of the TV for about half of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I had, yeah, I had made some good progress. So um, for several podcasts ago, I have shown um, the cloudburst mitts that I have been working on. And they are a pair of kind of lace fingerless mitts. Um, I have been working them in the Knit Picks palette in the... Um, oh, shoot. I forgot the name of the colorway. Oh, we'll put it down Iris. There. Iris. How, no. I don't know. It's on my Ravelry project page. Yeah, I'm sure we'll yeah. find it and put it on the So it's a pretty kind of purpley mauve color with lots of different kind of um, flecks of different colors in it. So I've really enjoyed working on these. I love working with the Knit Picks palette. It's such like a just a kind of lightweight but very warm wool and um, I've really enjoyed that. So I have had this one mitt done for Is it a done? little while. Well, off the needles. <laughs> the ends are not woven in, but it's off the needles. Um, and I am getting very close on the second one. So you had asked when I said that I was going to share the cloudburst mitts today, you had said, do you even have any more done on them? Well, I didn't realize and, you worked on them while I was sleeping. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, like this is, I mean, like, I don't even, I guess I only had the, the marker here just to show like which side I was on. Um, cause since I last showed these, like I've knit this whole entire yeah. one. So here's my progress keeper <laughs> and here's where I am. So, um, yeah, I have the thumb separated here. Um, and I, on the last, I think I'm on the last lace repeat before the ribbing and then I'll just do the ribbing on the thumb and I'm done. So. Right. Yeah, if I hadn't done some of the swatching that I'll show in a couple minutes today, I probably could have finished this. But um, According to my notes, you're going to show that next. Oh, yes, I am going to show that next. <laughs> well, yeah I'll, show, yeah, I'll show one of the swatches next. So, yeah, my cloudburst mitts are coming along quite nicely again. Um, and I am looking forward to having those completed just because, I I mean, they've they've been really nice to knit on and... I've enjoyed working on them and it's just nice to see like a project like that come to completion. So um, other than that, uh, the only progress that I have to show on the next couple things are swatches um, because that's just kind of what I've been working on. So <laughs> here I have a swatch for, um, I well, I first I'll talk about, I had shown on the podcast last week um, that my mom had gifted me, um, some yarn for Christmas and she picked out, um, one of the nitpicks. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, one of the nitpicks kind of curated sets, um, where they, you know, they put together a set of colors for maybe a faded kind of. I love this pattern one. or something. Oh, that, I know that Jupiter Speckle is the colorway that is. So this is all Knit Picks Hawthorne, which is their eighty twenty base, and um, and so yeah, it's like kind of a just a collection of these really pretty warm, kind of pinkies, purples, um, with some other pops of color. So like this Jupiter Speckle has purples, oranges, reds, pinks, um, all sorts of really pretty colors, and then. You have um, a couple that are maybe a little more tonal, like a lighter and a darker tonal. And then these, well, this one certainly is a little more multicolored. Burlingame, I think, is the name of this colorway. And then 
Arletta is kind of just this little bit more in the red and pink tones here. But they go together so beautifully. And so I knew that I had to pick out something that was going to put them all together. Um, so I had kind of been looking and I decided I really want to do the Pinguono um, kind of sweater jacket uh, designed by Stephen West. And... Um, just put it Oh, yeah, I'll down. just put that yeah. down. Uh, I'll just... No, I want to hold all my yarn. I know um, you do. Yeah. So... Um, oops. Hello. <laughs> oh, and now I'm on the wrong picture anyway. Okay, so this is the Pinguono by Stephen West. As you can see, like, he has done this very, with a lot of scrappy kind of colors, and that's kind of the intent of the project, is to use scraps, um, use up some stash, and just, like, make something kind of wild. But there are a lot of people that have also done things that are more muted like this. So this user, you can see on their Ravelry page, has done, like, something just a little bit more composed and put together in terms of the colors which is a little bit more my style like I I just like something that's a little more planned so um I decided I wanted to use this kit for um the Pinguono however um so I did do a swatch and I just used a different color of Hawthorne that I had um and it's done mostly in garter so I had swatched with a size 7 needle um, holding two together and then a size eight needle holding two together. doesn't really matter. You can't tell on the podcast, but, um, that's, that's what I've done so far is swatching, holding two strands of Hawthorne together. Um, so I had initially thought that I was going to use some of my Christmas money actually to order some additional Hawthorne from Knit Picks to hold together with, um, with the kit yarn. Um, but I had one, I was about to order and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to like wait until I'm ready to knit it because I'm not going to be ready to knit it for probably another month. Um, and I'm going to just wait and see if something, if anything goes on sale, like they always kind of have sales. So I was going to wait. Well, in the meantime, then I got thinking about it and I have actually the sweater quantity of, um, of Knit Picks Capretta. Um, which is their MCN base in Kearns, in the Kearns colorway, which is one of the colors that was in the kit. So it's that really pretty purpley, mauvey kind of color. And I have enough of that, actually, that I could hold it, basically have this as my constant color and hold it double with each of these as I work through, um, you know, as I work through the Pinguono. And so it'll give that really nice blended effect where everything kind of has this common color going through, but then you just will see like different little combinations where you'll even see these held together mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I was originally keeping this Capretta yarn for a piece of silver kind of turtleneck sweater. Piece of silver is the name of the design. But when I got thinking about my life right now and <laughs> like when I had bought this for piece of silver... I was still working in an office. I thought I would wear that sweater like over a little black dress that I had that it would just be a really good staple for me. You don't even work at that job I don't anymore. even work at that job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work in an office anymore. Um, and I'm at home. And so I just, I didn't feel like I need that sweater anymore. Yeah. And so I thought that would be a really good way of using this yarn since it does just match so perfectly with that kit. And I think a house, the like kind of house coat idea of the Penguono, I think is going to be a really good match mm -hmm. for all this. So saved myself some yarn budget to <laughs> apply later in the year <laughs> using up some stash. And I think it's going to be a really beautiful jacket. So like I said, I swatched for that, um, but I won't be starting that for probably about a month to a month and a half. And that is because I am working on my shawl design. And um, I am doing that in a collaboration with um, the dyer, Brittany of Crux Fibers. And um, so we are looking at probably a early February release for that pattern and for that collaboration because she's going to be making up kits for that. And Got so a lot of work out of you. I do, which is why this is all I'm going to be knitting on for like the next month. <laughs> so um so I am working on my I'll sample. I'll, I'll okay. Put this up here. 
Um, I'm working on my sample for the design right now. I have done this design um, that I, I knit. Really up. It really shows up nicely. That's beautiful. Yeah. So um, I had done up this design previously just with some other yarn in my stash that I had. Yeah, Crux Fibers. There you go. Um, and I, do you want to go get him maybe? And I can just finish yeah. talking here. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go solo for a couple minutes. Tim's going to, um, go grab Noah. <laughs> well, not go grab Noah. He's going to, um, I think probably try and get him back to sleep. So, um, anyway, uh, this, yeah. So, uh, these are the two colors that I'm using for the sample. Um, this is called Provence. And this one is actually a new colorway that Brittany has dyed up and she dyed it up to go with this. Um, and she had sent it to me and just kind of said, you know, the name's still kind of a work in progress. Um, she hasn't, she hadn't decided on a name. And when I saw it, when she had initially dyed it up, I just, I had a word or a name come to my mind. Um, but you know, I didn't know what she was going to actually name it. Um, and so when she said it was still a work in progress and, you know, any suggestions, I said, actually, I do have a suggestion. Um, so this, again, like I said, this one is named Provence and it is actually, it was dyed up inspired by this photo here by, um, Jamie Beck. And she's just a stunning photographer. Um, she's done these photos of these beautiful flowers and that was what inspired this Provence colorway. So when Brittany dyed up this kind of creamy golden flecked colorway to go with it, um, it just, it seemed like to me kind of, I mean, it's not glittery, like it's not Selena, but it just was kind of this glittery glowy kind of color to it. And I just thought of like star like a star. And, um, like I mentioned, we're from Minnesota. Minnesota's motto, state motto is L'Etoile du Nord, which means, um, which means star of the North. So when I had seen this, that's what I thought of. And so when I asked Brittany about it, when I suggested, would you consider the name L'Etoile du Nord? Because, um, number one of the Minnesota connection, but I know that um, Brittany also has a very strong connection to um, French culture and the French language. Um, so it just seemed like it might be a neat kind of fitting tie-in, um, not only to the Provence colorway of that kind of French theme, but then tying it together with um, with her French connections and um, and just the Minnesota French roots. And I don't know, it just seemed really neat. So I suggested that to her and she said that she loved it. So this is officially called Les Toiles du Nord to go with Provence um, for my new shawl design. So um, this design, I think I've mentioned it before, I had knit up a shawl uh, last year. <laughs> last year now, yes, 2020. So I knit up a shawl last year. Um, just I used a special yarn that I'd gotten on a trip and then I used a, some yarn for my stash. So it was different bases. It wasn't gonna be practical necessarily to write up a pattern essentially using these like two different bases. One was actually even a, considered a sport weight, one was fingering weight. They happened to work together, but um, I wanted something that was gonna be like a very cohesive um, kind of pattern that I could put out to the world. And um, when I had seen the Provence colorway, that was when I reached out to Brittany about doing a collaboration she was into it. She loved the design. Um, and so now I am kind of officially writing up the pattern, um, to be using, uh, Brittany's, Brittany's yarn here. So it's now officially going to be using, um, a 100% superwash merino. It's a single ply. Um, I don't think she has an official name for this base because it is a new base for her as well. Um, but it is, it is just beautiful. It's so lovely to work with. It's so soft. Um, I will say, I mentioned this on last week's podcast. Um, if you haven't ever worked with a single ply yarn, it is somewhat delicate to work with, especially when you're winding it up. Um, so I had some mishaps as I was winding the yarn initially. Um, I, I wound it a little bit too tight and so I, um, I wanted to rewind it to be a little bit, um, 
a little bit looser cake just to be a little bit more delicate on the yarn. I didn't wanna stretch it out or anything too much. So um, it's a very, I feel like it's a very large cake when it's wound so loosely, but um, I had to work through some tangles as I rewound it, but isn't that just so beautiful? So I love it in the skein, I love it in the cake. And if I love it in the skein, I love it in the cake. I can't even describe how much I love it knit up. Um, I worked on the swatch a little bit today and like every other row, I was just like, Tim, look at this. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Um, so this is the swatch I've been working on. You can see the beautiful purples, kind of those golden -y tones, um, some little flecks of pinks and reds and oh, it's so lovely. Um, when I was describing it in the skein, I say it's like a garden. It's like a whole garden or a bouquet like in a skein. And as you can tell, obviously from this inspiration photo, I think, I think Brittany just absolutely nailed it like spot on. So, um, it's, it's just gorgeous. Um, give me just a moment. Oh, okay. I was just making sure that wasn't Tim texting me, <laughs> needing me for Noah. Um, so anyway, so that is what I'm working on now. That is what I'm going to be working on for this whole month, basically, is um, is working on my sample and then working on officially writing up the pattern. Um, so, it, but man, it's such a joy to work with. Like, I can't even complain about um, working on just one thing for kind of the month. So, again, here's that beautiful swatch. And that's the Provence colorway from Crux Fibers. Um on her single ply base. She has it on, I think all of her bases. Um, so whatever flavor you like working on, um, you could get this beautiful colorway. And then L'Etoile du Nord, I am not sure when she is officially releasing that. I don't know if that's gonna be coming out just at the same time as the kits for these, or if she's gonna release that um, maybe on a future update this coming month. Um, but yeah, some really beautiful colors I feel so blessed to be able to work with this gorgeous yarn. Um, it's just, it's so beautiful. It's it like beautiful to look at, beautiful to work on. It feels so nice in your hands. It's so soft. And I think it's gonna be just gorgeous in this shawl. So I'm excited to show off my progress on this as I, as I go through this month and as we go through this month of podcasts. Um, but that is, that is gonna be kind of my primary focus. Um, so like I said, I have, you know, I have a couple other things that I've been wanting to start on, especially those striped socks, um, and just a couple other things, but, um, I am going to be pretty focused on that for this week. Um, so yeah, so that is, uh, my whips right now. Um, scouting, um, I, uh, let's see, I don't, I mean, I've talked about scouting. I kind of, um, I'm kind of on hold for anything that I'm, you know, looking forward to that'll be coming probably in February. Um, so like I said, Pinguono, this, uh, the slips, those vanilla bean socks. Um, I still have the Chouette hat that I'm working on, which is that little owl hat, um, that has the little cabled owl on it. And I have one other sock on the needles um, that's in my little case right now, but tucked away for a little bit um, yet. Uh, I know Tim, I, it seems like he maybe is still rocking Noah back to sleep. I don't have the monitor on, so I'm not entirely sure. I should maybe turn that back on, but um, yeah, give me just a moment. We might be cutting here already. All right. We're back. We're back. So uh, we'll get a little more into this uh, towards the end of the podcast here, but yeah. we are going through some transitions with our little boy. Yes. So sleep transitions, teeth transitions. Yeah, we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so scouting for me, mm -hmm. uh, once I kind of finish some of these projects I'm working on, I am gonna be back to designing some of my own patterns. Um, we're slowly working on one right now. Yeah. Uh, it's of a, I'm just gonna kind of tease it a little bit. It's a sunset mm -hmm. silhouette of a deer. And yeah. uh, 
Well, it's actually something that I painted at one time. Yes. Yeah, and you, then... we, didn't we like see kind of a similar like no, photo well, we just in saw, a magazine yeah, we saw, or like, something a photo. like that? Yeah, we saw a photo that was like this silhouette of a deer kind of against a beautiful sunset. And so I had painted it and then we're thinking, oh, that could be a something neat to stitch up. So I'm working on that so, right now. Yeah. I also have a bunch of other ideas yeah. for some cross stitch patterns. So for scouting, that's that's uh, what I'm gonna be working on. Yeah. Uh, so stay tuned on that. Mm -hmm. uh, just a reminder too, that I do have a couple patterns, a uh, couple Christmassy ones uh, yeah. on our Etsy shop, but also just some other mm -hmm. uh, everyday uh, yeah. quick, patterns yeah uh in our etsy sh in our wow i can't talk <laughs> in our etsy shop yeah yeah uh so check those out if you are interested in mm -hmm. some quick easy to stitch patterns yeah yeah well yeah so that's scouting um, um yeah do you hear that oh i do it's kayla's christmas list still yeah <laughs> Well, even though um, we've called it Kayla's Christmas List, Kayla's Christmas List has been um, the segment where I've shared something that I've added to my Christmas list for Tim to shop from. Oh, that's oh there. Okay. and in yeah. fact, um, we do have another kind of acquisition. Actually, this never actually made it onto my Christmas list because it was such a limited release. Seeing as we're never around right now, uh, oh. let's just say, because... We've called this Kayla's Christmas list. Oh, Guess yeah, what? Sorry. Christmas is in roughly 51 weeks. So. Yeah, <laughs> we got 51 more weeks of stuff to add to my Christmas list yep. again. But uh, we figure this will also be a good list to for Tim to go off of for my birthday. Birthday, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. <laughs> uh, Kayla was really nice to me and she deserves a treat type oh, day. When does that happen? <laughs> Just you're, kidding. You're never nice to me. <laughs> oh, I'm nice. I'm He's tolerant. super <laughs> nice to me. If anyone can live with me, they're very nice. Yeah. <laughs> but there is only so much money in the craft budget. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so we just thought it'd be good for, good for gifts, um, for other gift lists for him, for me. Yep. Um, but also we, I've been saving these to a Pinterest board, um, that we'll have linked below. And it's a great way for you to go and look and see if there's anything you want to add to your own wish lists. Yep. So for holidays, birthdays, um, it's a great, uh, I, I hope I'm, I hope it's great. I hope it's helpful to be highlighting these indie makers and bringing them to your attention so that you can add them to your wish list and be supporting, yep. um, be supporting makers. So one thing that never actually made it onto my Christmas list because it was such a limited release, um, was a pro a very special project bag. Um, and it was something actually that when Tim saw it come up on Instagram, he had wanted, he had added it you know, to his mental list. Oh, I should buy that for Kayla with her. I even went her crafty. to Etsy yeah. <laughs> and tried to buy it. Yes. And they were already yes, sold already out. Already sold out. So we've talked about I, this. I was actually on the ball on that one. Yes. As much as, much as, as, as I could have been. Be. <laughs> yes. So this was supposed to be part of my little crafty gift package for Christmas. Um, but it was, it had been sold out. Well, a, maybe a week later, they came back in stock. So... Amy of Noble Character Crafts sewed up a limited amount of these gorgeous, um, kind of wintry project bags. So, so pretty. And they all kind of had this um, country, country Christmas, country winter kind of barn theme to them. Um, well, actually, I yeah, I think there were barns on the initial batch. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was, it caught both of our eyes, um, but I hadn't even said anything and he had tried to go um, purchase it, but they were sold out, um, to, which was to be expected. Yeah. <laughs> um, but when she came out with the second batch of bags, she had had this new fabric, which was um, a lot of barns on this one, a lot of different barns and kind of structures and um what i really love about it are the barn quilts on them if you don't um, know what a yeah, barn sorry, quilt that's maybe... is this is a barn quilt yeah so they are very prominent in i mean kind of all over yeah kind of all over uh, but especially where through we the live Midwest, in I would say. minnesota mm -hmm. and we both grew up in wisconsin very yeah. prominent in i think minnesota, i've kind of heard that like kind of Pennsylvania to 
you know, to this Midwest kind of area yeah. is where you would see these a lot. Um, so we always love seeing seeing barn quilts on on barns and structures like that. Um, so we're searching for we, some land yeah, and we want, hopefully going to have a barn and we will yeah. have a barn quilt. Yeah, we, we have, have a little shed out <laughs> back right now that yeah. looks like a barn. That we've thought about putting, putting a barn quilt. Even we just on haven't that. gotten around yeah. to it. So, um, but anyway, so when when we saw this, it was like, oh my gosh, how perfect. Um, I texted Tim, I, I think I, or maybe even just sent the post to you on Instagram and said, can I use my Christmas money on this in advance? <laughs> I said, go for, go for it. it. So, um, I, it, I mean, and it was a good thing that I bought it right away because later that day they were sold out. So I feel so grateful to have been able to get one of these from Amy at Noble Character Crafts. Again, is the maker behind these bags. Um, it's, you know, a drawstring project bag right now. I do have um, my yarn for my shawl in it. And I also have my, um, my box with my wool wash from Woolen & Co because it smells so good and it makes everything in it smell good. And... Little, little plug for Amy to check out her yeah, podcast. Yeah, she Noble has Character. a great yeah. uh, podcast. Yeah, Noble too. Character Crafts is the name of her podcast um and she's yeah she's very sweet and if you don't already watch yeah it, if you don't already I mean, watch it or if pretty much i'm sure everyone who watches yeah us, I'm sure <laughs> maybe maybe already it. does yeah. yeah um so yeah beautiful project bag um cotton and it's kind of got um i think there might be some uh some kind of maybe interfacing or i don't know just maybe the double layer fabric makes it kind of just that nice kind of heavier weight um which is really nice drawstring and has the little handle and it even has her sweet little kind of leather tag on it too so very cute i was so oh so happy to be able to to get this bag so that was what i used some of my christmas money on um so even though it never officially made it onto kayla's christmas list um, so what's on your Christmas list this week? So then? this week on my Christmas list is a little bit inspired by what we've been watching the last two days, which last night we watched the 1994 version of Little Women. Yep. And then today we, well, are still in the midst of watching yeah. <laughs> the, the newest, um, the most recent version know, you, of Little Women. I'm sure everyone's shocked. Me watching Little <laughs> Women. Uh, I actually watched it with my mother. Yeah, you had seen when I was mm -hmm. really young, so it's actually kind of fun to yeah. Your mom, watch it again. your mom really loved Little Women. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't even know, but I know that I have um, two copies of the book from yeah. her. I, I and remember then we my have mom two watching VHSs and reading from her as that. well watching and reading them all yeah the time. so i had um i was late to the game on little women and i hadn't um read it until i listened to it on audiobook a couple years ago and was it was like i listened to it, i was like i have been missing out on this my entire life and i was like angry at myself and at everyone who had ever guided me in my book choices <laughs> that no one had made me read little women but it's probably best that no one had made me read it because then i enjoyed it a lot more choosing it for myself so um anyway Taylor's Christmas list <laughs> Taylor's Christmas list. long story to say um that my Christmas list item this week is actually a book and it is is it Little Women yeah and it's Little Women <laughs> because I only have three copies of it right now and I would like a fourth um no <laughs> but it is um it is a pattern book that is called Little Women Knits um, and I discovered this, uh, Jennifer, uh, Driftless, the Driftless Knitter, um, she had shared, she bought this book, um, pre-ordered it, I think maybe as a little Christmas gift to herself. <laughs> and, um, so she had shared that and, um, I had looked at a couple of the patterns and one that I just fell in love with was this, um, it's kind of a shawl. Um, it is, what do they call it? A Sontag or Sontag, Sontag? I'm not exactly sure, but the intent is... I don't know. I don't know how to yeah, read. Yeah, you don't know how to read. Um, the intent is that, you know, it kind of goes over your shoulders and then it actually ties in the back, which I think is a really neat feature. And when we've been watching the newest, um, the newest version of Little Women this evening, actually, um, they 
they seem to be wearing this style quite a bit where it's kind of a shawl that ties around your back and I really loved that. So um, the book itself has a number of a number of really lovely patterns in it. Again, that's the cover. It is um, by Joanna Johnson and Laurel Johnson. Um, and so that that is my entry is actually a pattern book. Um, and I just think it had some really, really lovely patterns, all like, I would call them that kind of feminine, but not very fussy, which is, I'd say, my style. I'm going to try to be yeah. better this year, too. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to shop like ahead of time. Try, because, yeah. I mean, your birthday is in April, so yeah. I got, you know, a few months still, yeah. but... <laughs> If I'm going to be buying something that you put on here, I should be buying, you know, looking yeah, at you these should be things looking, pretty yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah, this one luckily is something that probably you'd be able to to get down, down the line, but it gets tricky around the holidays yeah. when everyone has kind of specials, I think, of, you know, you were probably one for three for the things that you wanted to get me, and you got me one of them. Yeah. <laughs> but... That's that's okay. Yeah. yeah. So um so that's my Christmas list. Little you, women. You close next. your iPad there. I oh, need the notes. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. The notes. Yes. Here we go. So yeah. Um I that's that's kind of it for the for the crafty content, yeah. but we thought we'd share a little bit more maybe try to life add stuff. Yeah. Add, add a little <laughs> I mean, more of our life. Yeah. I think generally in our podcast we have talked about life stuff, but it's been really like I mean you guys random. know <laughs> that we have uh well he's almost eight months almost old now. Almost eight months. And uh so right now, let's see. What is it? Three or four days ago, he cut his first tooth. Mm -hmm. So sleep yep. has been very interesting. Yeah. Which yeah. makes crafting well, first, very interesting. Yeah. That first night, um, that when he actually cut the tooth, he was up for two hours in the middle of the night. Yeah, from like twelve thirty yeah. to two thirty. Yeah, just about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I had gotten up with him and he well, I got up right away. Well, yeah, you got up right away and yeah, you walked around with him for a little bit to try to get him to fall back asleep and it was <laughs> yeah. not happening. And was it even, it might've even been after you walked around with him that we discovered the tooth, wasn't it? No, 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 it was we were, okay. Yeah, we were lying in bed. You were trying yeah. to. Well, calm I had been him trying down, to calm him down, and I said, and "You kind of." His mouth. I said, "I'm just wondering if he yeah. cut a tooth." And sure, you're like, "Yeah, oh, I, I felt it in his mouth." I was like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> like it took me by such surprise because I mean we knew he was working on teeth, but man, it just like popped right out, and we're like, oh, "Wow!" So there's a tooth. So he was up for like two hours. That was actually when I worked on my, um, I did like two rows of my swatch for my pinguono. Yes. <laughs> so he was, he was just like up playing like in the middle of the day. So anyway, um, so that's been a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge, but it's really fun watching him grow and learn. He's and, growing way, way, way too fast. Yes, he is. Um, but Let's see what else did we we um, fed him a chunk of uh, honeydew melon today. Yeah. That was yeah. exciting. We're introducing more and more other he, foods. Yeah. And yep. He's ready for it. Like he's been just. We're uh, not. We're not though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was so sticky at <laughs> the end of that. Oh my goodness. But it's fun. He he is really loving it and. Um, so it's fun to just watch him grow and develop. And like we said, it's going way too fast. So, yeah. Um, um, other stuff. I mean, we're at the beginning of the year here. So yeah. happy new year, yeah, happy everyone. New year. I don't think, well, maybe we said it at the, be at the beginning. We did. Maybe not. Happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs> um, so we are. Uh, we don't, we don't make resolutions. We don't really make resolutions, but we're also not. So like uppity, like, oh, we don't make resolutions. Yeah. Yeah, like it's, it's not to, it's be, not defiant to be defiant. It's just like, but we always seem to start things at the beginning of the year. <laughs> so. we, well, we were talking about it earlier today. Uh, uh, so we're filming on New Friday. Year's, on New Year's yep, Day. On New Year's Day. Um, and we're talking how a lot of times just getting through the holidays and everything mm -hmm. is, is a nice time to uh, restart. Yeah, um, we just feel like. It's like, okay, we can have a fresh start now. Um, you always like to clean up all the Christmas decorations, you know, kind of New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. 
And yeah, it just, even though, I mean, people have a lot of opinions about resolutions and how maybe they're not effective and whatever and whatever. I, mean, I think it's of, just a, a nice time. A lot of come to, you know, working out resolutions. Yeah. And stuff. I mean, we both love to work out. Yeah, we do. And... You know, through the holidays, we eat a lot of cookies and stuff yeah. like that. So <laughs> And a lot of sugar. So it is yeah. nice to just, like, come out of that and reset. And um, we'll wrap up real quick. Yeah. Because I, I see the Noah's little guy is moving again. Fussing. So yeah. that's, yeah, a little bit about us, I <laughs> uh, guess. Yeah. To wrap this and to cut it short. To wrap this up and cut it short. We got an eight-month-old and he's awake. <laughs> so, um, so that's it. But uh, thank you so much for joining us on our podcast. Um, we have loved doing our lives, but we're really glad to be back to a recorded podcast and we hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, you can find us on Instagram at Heritage Arts Co. and at The Floss Dude. And you can visit our website, heritageartsco.com. And I am also on Ravelry as at Heritage, or her, at, bleh, <laughs> bleh, Heritage Arts Co. on Ravelry. Um, you can find me there and our uh, group page. So um, thank you for joining and keep on crafting.